The earth is our God. The earth is our government, our culture, our economy. When something goes really badly wrong, we take in the information and we go to the CEO, we go to the president, we go to the general of the army. We get no response. We return to the earth and await further instructions. And that's because we instinctively know that life itself is the best strategist. Somebody give me an earth alluvia here today. Earth alluvia. Earth alluvia. Praise be. Well, <laughs> anybody know anybody that actually lived up to what I just said? The, the earth first people. They're the people that believe that the earth is the government. They, that, that's why they call it earth first. We're going to listen to the earth and receive our instructions from the earth. And the consequences of what we do. The consequences of what we do will go back into the earth. And you remember there, there was a whole generation of earth first people. Their activism, tree sitters, SUV burners coincided by happenstance perhaps perhaps not with the the enforcement of the anti-terrorism legislation the Patriot Act and some some of those young people are spending long periods of time in jail uh, one of our friends just got out and we're raising money for him to get his life started again No, we can't really have, we can't really, we can't really practically live our lives with the earth giving us instructions on how to live. We really cannot do that. We will, we will go to jail or worse fairly quickly in this culture. So I just want to mark that here at the beginning of today's message. Children, we, <laughs> we had a kind of warm and fuzzy glow, didn't we, when we shouted earth together? earth This young woman still has that warm and fuzzy glow. <laughs> <laughs> that, with, that, with that bone on the back of your head. Yeah. It's just at the very tip of a giant dragonfly's wing. Amen. Praise be. And and who's the mural maker who worked on that? You're in the front row. Amen. Praise be. Thank you. Mural Louis. Mural Louis. <laughs> Amen. I just want to mark that 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 break. Probably we all walk around with that break, that schizophrenia. Probably it's a condition of our culture. Amen. That's something we have to live with. That's something we carry. We, we have that split. If we just ask the, 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 the peace people who passed, we just, we're grateful to them, and we wanted to do something, even a sentence today, working for peace, that might be all we can do. Because really demanding peace which is the same thing as working for the earth. That's one issue. Really doing that, you just, you just select yourself out very quickly and you are culturally ostracized, jailed, and worse. So let's just mark that that split takes place and it's in each of us. But I'm with the lady with the bun next to the dragonfly's wing. I believe in earth -alluia. Let's say it again. Earth Hallelujah! Yay! Amen! Praise be! 
Let's find a way to make earth hallelujah a faith that has practical application in our lives. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The earth is speaking to us. The earth is speaking to us all the time. And one of the reasons that the split has become more extreme lately is because we, we hear the earth. We hear the earth. The tsunamis and the earthquakes are a hard lesson. But being in love and sunshine in the morning is, is encouraging. <laughs> but then the silence of extinction is a sorrowing earth. The earth is speaking to us. And suddenly we hear the Wall Street analysts saying, we need to explode more mountaintops in Appalachia. We need the coal. Up the profits. And we see that as we walk by the Wall Street Journal. You pick up the newspaper and go back into that newspaper a little bit, and you might see something else. You might see another item. There are 20 tornadoes that are more than a mile wide. Freak tornadoes dancing across the plains of Kansas at the same time. There's a great debate going on. And the earth side of that debate, we're going to call the earth side of that great debate just bad weather? The earth is an articulate speaker. A forceful, dramatic speaker. Oh, okay. I see the looks on your faces. Amen. Praise be. The earth is hard to hear. The earth is mystifying. Life itself is never really explained. Does anybody know what I'm talking about here? <laughs> anybody? Amen. Praise be. Life is not explained. It's encrypted somewhere in the fundamental particles, down in the down in the electrons, or it's 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 the secret is humming in the dark force of the universe. We don't get to know. But even even if we don't get to know, isn't it true that we just spend a lot of our time trying to bridge that gap, trying trying to trying to reach over, trying to from our position, trying. Uh, isn't, isn't a lot of what we do when we're trying to be compassionate, when we're, when we're trying to sing a song, when, we're try, when, when I'm trying to talk to you right now, aren't, aren't we trying to really... Uh, we want the Earth's approval. Badly. We do. We do. We march our grandest personalities up to the top of Mount Olympus and give them soap opera scripts. We, we, we erect enormous, impossible heads and make them stare out across the Pacific. Amen. 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 <laughs> we, I know I've done this singing bad Puccini to that watery fire inside my loved one as, as the earth creates a baby. We try to... We, we, we suspect the earth might be in the audience somewhere. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and we dance all night, people. You know? We dance all night. 